And we're back. That's what we look like. He does look kind of thuggish, though. Look at the thick forehead. Yeah, this is not... He's been taking some steroids to enhance his janitorial performance. That would not explain why the thrust control is so big, though. Because he's a hero. You said steroids. That, that actually affects the two little knobs at the bottom <laughs> of the thrust. Everything looks automatic. The panel is loaded with clusters of systems and of system status. The There's a power button, attitude dial, and a sent thruster button. I turn the attitude up. I have a feeling we're going to be able to die a lot of different ways here. Sorry, Kevin Dino. Okay, you know what? Just out of curiosity, uh, anybody who wants to translate these later, Piso, I don't know what that would be. I don't know what Cayman Dino was going to be. I don't know, Nave151. Haha174. It's a good name. And then Ultima. I'm, act I'm actually kind of tempted to load Haha174. Just do it. So mm. cool. No. Oh, okay. Get through the game. All right, push power. Boop. Wow, your face got real small. Cutting edge graphics. Did you see that? He actually moved and hit the button. Yeah, cutting edge. Uh, let's see. Let's do something. Uh, let's push thrusters. Thruster on. Thruster. Seriously? Wow. The shuttle begins to vibrate as the ascent thrusters ignite. Turn up the attitude. There is no horizontal control until minimum altitude uh, has been achieved. All right, uh, turn dial. It was an altitude dial, right? It was an attitude dial. The attitude dial is now set to VAC. Very attitude cap. Uh, Vertical control. Then... Forward is ascend. Forward is, as forward is descend. Backwards is ascend. Oh god, what am I doing? Going up? I guess? I think you just always go up. Well, I think I'm going up now. The clouds are going down, that means I'm going up, right? So they tell me? You're off the planet! A tone sounds. A soft, synthesized voice notes that adequate altitude has been achieved. Ascent thrusters are now ineffective. The, mon the monitor draws your attention again. Fell, oh. fell into that one. I, th I felt like it was soft and synthetic. <laughs> Minimum altitude achieved. Attitude system. Uh, vertical control. Okay. I am in space. I'll turn the at at attitude dial back. Uh, hack. Hey, attitude cats. Am I flying backwards? Yeah. Oh god. I'm flying backwards. I don't know what's going on. I think we did it right. <laughs> the screens are suddenly splashed with an incredible, horrible image of Sludge Vohal. How did that voice go again? Hello, Roger Tutu Maker. I've been waiting for you. Really? Once again, my subordinates have failed me. Anyway, it looks like you'll be visiting me again soon. Don't bother trying to pilot the vessel. I've taken control. I control the vertical. I control the horizontal. Which is why we're flying back. <laughs> you'll be arriving at my command post shortly. I anxiously... <laughs> They await your arrival. He's plugged into tubes, I figure. He closes with a chilling laugh. <laughs> that's not chilling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly how he laughs. This image is frozen on the screen. The ship changes the ship changed course as if it had a life of its own. All you can do is hang on. Hang on to your butts. Hey, we're going forward now. Oh. Why doesn't he just blow us up? Mm -hmm. I'm not old enough to be here. <laughs> well, guys get bored sometimes. 
You feel the ship bank. Did something right. Come on, work, damn you! That's no asteroid! As Volhall stated, nothing works. He made us impotent. Oh no. That, that's diabolical! As Volhall stated, nothing like, works. Stop thing. pushing buttons. Through the window, you see your apparent destination Volhall's asteroid. Guys, I am trying to make Space Quest 2 as entertaining as possible. I swear I am. But we are in Leisure Suit Larry 2 Gabriel Knight 3 territory here. It's just not a great entertaining game. I'm sorry. It's also got a lot of typos. The massive bay doors meet, jarring the entire vehicle bay. As you step down, the shuttle door slams shut behind you. You are quite surprised not to find several of Vohal's guards waiting to greet you. You begin to ponder what the twisted scientist might have in store for you. I don't know, but whatever it is, we are going to thwart him. Probably. I'm going to go this way. Because I can turn left. Oh, you're an ambi-turner. I hope that's an elevator. I'm assuming there's buttons in here somewhere. The button... The buttons look ordinary. Each one has a word next to it. In order, they are one, three, four, and five. By that logic, we are on two. So, we can't come to the floor that we're on? There's no button for this floor? Nope. I figured it out. We're on one. Well, what the... That doesn't make any sense. Maybe two is for special people. Like Maybe, yeah, maybe he has a special elevator. You have a funny feeling that you're being watched. Hello. And that's a dead end. It was very clearly a dead end. Hey, hey! Oh god, nope, that looks like a robot I don't want to be in the same room as. Oh god! <laughs> it looks like you have been formally introduced to the floor waxer. You now consist of a very thin yet glossy floor covering. Too bad. You seem to be making relatively good progress. Oh, I didn't save in a while. It's been a whole five seconds since I saved. <laughs> We've gone so far. We're past this scene. Let's try this again and see if I can get into that closet before the thing shows up. Maybe, maybe if I hadn't spent so much time trying to go the wrong way. You have a feeling that you're being watched. <laughs> and I got no privacy! Whoa! Alright, so there was a butt next to this closet. Yes. Aha! You know a janitorial closet when you smell one! Almost at once you sense an emptiness, a melancholy longing. You begin to feel homesick. And we're the losers. It is quite dark in here. You do find a plunger, however. Well, that's gotta be useful. We are now equipped. With the plunger. We're unstoppable! Hey, a janitor with a plunger? We got this. I thought we were getting watched. Oh, no. Weedy, 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 weedy. Deadly space Roombas. I like this really long hall. I like that there's nobody in this base. Not from here. Another janitorial closet. Now we can cut everyone. We are just going around and collecting things. Which is really the whole point of these games. Don't go on the wrong one. 
there are two doors. One male, the other female. All right. Now we have to. I have to know what's behind this door. It's probably all nice, and it's got like a couch and stuff in it. Uh, yeah. It has urinals. I mean, they're weird looking urinals. Haha, <laughs> toilet paper. The worst. These guys are just hanging out. Oh, look at that. Both doors go in here. Uh -huh. It's a unisex bathroom. Uh, I get it. It's funny stuff. Uh, let's see what else we got here in this. Oh! Run! Run! We're going back the other way to the elevators. Nope, not gonna make it. Maybe I can hide in the closet. <laughs> Shh. I don't even know if I can make it to the closet in time. Nope. God, I hope that elevator door is open. Oh my god, this is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Running from the floor wax. By the way, he has a deadly floor waxer just randomly going through the hallways. This is what he does with his life. This is what Vogel does. Ha <laughs> ha! I ain't afraid of no Roomba. Anything else on that floor? I hope not. <sighs> if we did, we can go back up. We apparently can just roam around this base for free. Yeah. That does not look like somebody I want to walk right by. Nope. Youch! You feel alarmingly dense. Apparently, you were the prime focal point for some aggression channeling by one of the caged creatures. Your compressed composition indicates that your attacker possessed considerable strength. A good guy to avoid in the future. Hint. Of course, you are damaged beyond repair, and the game must end. You've made quite a bit of progress, though. Don't start screwing up now. Start. I figured some kind of tentacle monster was going to come pull us out of there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no, one of the cells is opening. Who knows what unspeakable horror waits behind those steel bars? I do, and I'd really like to travel faster. What is that? It's a kissing alien. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, the dark and spiny beast with massive red lips grabs you up and after a longing glance proceeds... Don't read further if the phrase French kiss bothers you. To plant a very moist French kiss on you. You are left quite stunned. Um. Oh, the horrors. I really hope something doesn't come bursting out of our chest. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This is how you get eggs oh, in your ears. Oh, God. It's quite dark in here. There's a small waste basket on the floor. Next to it is a pair of crusty work overalls. Yummy. Isn't it amazing how much stuff an adventure game hero can carry? You've just got to know how to pack. You pick up the overalls. They are very small and quite worn out, not to mention filthy, and of no use to you. You toss them back on the floor. As you set them down, something falls to the floor. You see some filthy overalls and a lighter. So we have toilet paper and a lighter. And a trash basket. And possibly an alien gestating in our stomach. It's like college all over again. <laughs> Apparently there's no floor cleaner here. Don't say that. Alright, we now have ransacked this base for everything we need to confront Sludge Vohal. And there's no floor cube. I'm sure we'll find a way. Am I pregnant? I hope someone else is doing one of these and sees that save. That would be wonderful. You think the shares are the, the saves are communal? This is on my computer. I would like to think they're communal. Everyone is for me. The door closes behind you solidly. A barrier springs up before you. Oh no! 
Oh, Another no. barrier stands in your way. Set it on fire. You feel the sh floor shift below you. It's moving to the left. Um, that's probably not a good thing to fall into. Luckily, we are heroes. Equipped with a plunger. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna die. I don't think I can type fast enough to save us. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, taking a bath in sulfuric acid and using pumice for a washcloth. After that bit of displeasure passes, it gets much worse as the acid slowly eats its way into the last critical organs. Finally, mercifully, death takes you. I do like the descriptive death sequences. I don't... <laughs> Jesus. Put, not place. Using formerly uncharacteristically uncharacteristic creativity, you apply the suction cup-like plunger to the smooth metal finish and hang on for dear life. Once a janitor, always a janitor. You release your grip and drop down. So apparently all those cameras don't exist anymore. Well, we had walls on both sides of us. Uh -huh. He didn't think that through, did he? Uh-oh. That, that can't be good. That, that, that looks like a giant killer robot coming Cylons. after me. I'm just gonna keep going. How convenient they apparently are. Haha! While receiving a nice hosing yourself, the basket fire is extinguished seconds later by a series of. A loud series of pops is followed by the sound. I can't read it, but we fried the robots. Things went on fire. Boom. The sprinklers sense accomplishment and cease operation. Your fire and subsequent shower seems to have shorted out the burnished bullies. I don't think I'm pregnant. Well, I mean, it does take time. You have entered Vohal's secret chain. Oh, God. <laughs> I do not like the implications. The evil one himself is seated before a large console on a high platform in the center of the room. Not a lot of thugs and guards around this guy. Yeah. Standing obliviously reading are many of are obliviously ready. I can't read anymore. Standing obliviously ready are many of the dreaded salesman clones. So, Roger Tutu Maker, we meet again. I must say I'm quite impressed with your resourcefulness and tenacity. I'd love to chat, but I'm busy preparing the last of my salesman clones for their trip to Xenon. Feel free to stick around and observe the downfall of your civilization. <laughs> this guy is the worst. He's pretty unkillable, though. He's a terrible villain. Put me monologue at you and then not do anything. I'm going to go up there and stop him. You're going somewhere. <laughs> As soon as you step on the platform, you are struck by a beam of light emitting from a unit in the ceiling. In a matter of seconds, you are broken down into microparticles and extracted from the air. Again, the beam strikes, this time blasting into a glass jar on the console. It is there that you are molecularly reconstituted in a miniaturized form. I can't read. I meant to tell you that. Well, I'll be darned. Oh. Sorry. Well, I'll be darned. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. My miniaturization beam does work. Fohal's voice booms. In the old days, I'd test these things on myself. But as you may have noticed from my appearance, 
by my appearance, <laughs> being my own guinea pig, has had its disadvantages. If only the person doing this voice could read. <laughs> I guess this will keep you out of my way once and for all. You'll make a nice conversation piece. With that, Bohal turns away to put the finishing touches on Xenon's fate. I really don't think we're pregnant. I'd hate to have to redo as much as we've already done. Pew. All right, Rachel, what do we do? Uh, fall into a fetal position and cry. Oh, of course you don't. You're a robot. What have we got in our inventory? A whistle. And? A jock strap. We have the supporter, the whistle, the lighter, the dialect translator, the glowing gem, the glass cutter, the cage key, and the uh, key card. I think we might need the glass cutter. So the glowing gem. Yeah. It's fine where it is. The glass cutter. Whoop! <laughs> oh, I skipped the dialogue. I'm sorry. Whoop! The newly cut pane of glass falls to the counter. Apparently... Bohal does not notice. You cut a magnificent rectangle. <laughs> Darn, Roger Tutumaker. I guess his lardness got a little fed up with your meddling. You've been redesigned once again, revealing a permanent overhead view. What? You, you resemble one of those wonderfully colorful mosaics commonly found on windshields. Okay. You wiggle your slim carcass through the vent. There's a big red button back here. You should push it. Okay. Way to go, Roger Tutu Maker. You've just disconnected Vohal's life support system. He's a goner without it. I think we just killed the villain. You can see Vohal struggling to take his last few breaths. Not you again. You think you have won, he wheezes. But all you have done is seal your own fate. It sounds a lot like the Lord Humongous, by the way. <laughs> He reaches up and flips a switch on the far end of the console before dropping to the floor dead. Okay. All right. We've got a keyboard here. Can I flip the switch? You should either lower or raise the switch. Well, considering I can't go up, I wonder which way I want to go. Reduce or enlarge. Type enlarge. <laughs> and hopefully, oh yes, please let that beam be our way back to being regular size. <laughs> You are once again reconstituted. Is that okay that time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this time to the correct size. You notice that the clones are gone. It does. It's that villain's name. I don't want to get closer. Oh, he's laying here on the ground. An examination of the repulsively turgid fabric encased mass <laughs> reveals nothing other than the tubes which supplied him with the blood and oxygen. You do notice the letters SHSR written in pen on the back of his left hand. That's going to be important later. General status, orbit decaying, prognosis terminal, internal environment okay, external temperature, Critical auxiliary operation, clone launch go, countdown, 7 minutes and 16 seconds. To abort launch, enter the code below. Oh god. How are we going to figure out what the code was? Uh, it might have been written on his fat hand. Abort granted! Why would he write that down? 
this is the worst villain. That's it. We saved Xenon. I swear to God, if a alien bursts out of her chest at this point, <laughs> I'm just counting this as a victory. I'm not counting that as a victory. <laughs> You've found one more way to snatch humiliation from the jaws of heroism. That's how... Well, at least you saved the planet. Oh, come on! You're not going to automatically guide me up the... This game hates you. Wow. Alright, so we have to escape. Why? Because the orbit's decaying. Oh. The box is actually an oxygen max receptacle. Open the box. There, we got an oxygen mask. Dun, 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 you have to turn. No, oh, I'm sorry. I just went off into my own little wonderland there for a little bit. All we have to do is find a way to escape. And we have conquered the game. Uh oh. A section of the glass tubing has fractured from combined stress. The pressurized atmosphere rushes for the relative vacuum of space. Fortunately, wearing the mask protects you from suffocation. Hooray, we did something right. You no longer need no longer needing the mask. You just throw it away. I, okay. I don't like the character deciding when it's safe. Yeah. It's clearly an idiot. You are somewhere. That was helpful. Only we still had a spaceship that we could use to get out of here. Oh my god! It does exist. Ah! Can't get to it. What? Uh, that's just a lot of walking in this game. That's all. I just enjoy your company, so I'm dragging the game out. <laughs> Because I know the only reason you hang out with me is because of your love for Space Quest. Not Space Quest 2. Well, not every game can be as good as Space Quest 1. That's fair. Space Quest 6 really is quite awesome. I need one more to go. Yeah, unlike Larry, we don't get to skip a game. Just walking around, disintegrating pace. We have to escape in our hurry. <laughs> uh, our hero doesn't know how to run, man. Just strolling along. Strut, 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 strut. Janitors never have need to run. Look. You are somewhere. We are still somewhere. Oh, God. I forgot about that thing. There are no buttons to push. There was when we were on that screen. I gotta wait for this thing to turn back. Uh, it's guarding the escape pods. 40 minutes till meltdown, a synthesized voice cheerfully announces. You are suddenly racked by excruciatingly violent pains. It feels as if your body is trying to turn inside out. No, I was pregnant! After gaining freedom for its flesh fortress, the odd little alien runs away, leaving you lying on the floor like a oversized placenta. A darn tough yet unique way to go. I have to teach you not to be sucking face with alien beings in the future. I call that. <laughs> oh my god. Was Jeff too safe? Jeff Tube was saved before the alien, but that was like a while ago. Alright, guys, so um, I'm gonna have to replay through this, but I'm not gonna make you sit through it. So there's gonna be a. I have to sit through it, though. Yeah, I'm sorry. Alright. I replayed the entire thing, and I did not get made. I did not make out with an alien this time. Even though making out with an alien's always been kind of a dream ever since I saw Chiana in Forest Game. Just saying.
So hanging out with her is going to cause the body to explode. Man, I don't know. I don't take things like that for granted. I assume anytime I make out with somebody, it makes my body explode. That's why I live the life I have. Basically, that thing guards the light, the the escape pod. So I had to open it, then I'm gonna run away from it, then I'm gonna go back and hop in. There's not a way to beat this thing, so you just gotta run. Open run. the door before you run, run, so that it's open when you go back. And right here's where my chest burst. Look, we did it this time. And at Rachel's request, we have changed the name of the save. Yes was. But I'm not now. I had a time-traveling abortion. <laughs> Only it could be that easy. I recently went to my friend Jason's birthday party. I thought you were going to say abortion. No. But I told him for his birthday, I got him a coat hanger and a time machine and told him to do us all a favor. Which is a line I really feel like I should use more often. Yeah. I'm a lot. Jason does have a few little scars on his face from when they dragged him out with the forceps out of his mother. He does like to refer to them as coat hanger scars. They tried. They didn't succeed. Oh god! I had to type enter pod! Way to be prepared. After this game, uh, the parser interface changes so that when you type something, everything pauses while you type. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. The robot has apparently decided that it is permissible for you to be here since you are in the pod already. <laughs> well, if you're in the pod, then I guess you're allowed to be here. That's how that works. Upon entering the escape pod, you quickly take your seat. Um. Leave. Escape. Power. Uh, yeah. The only outstanding... Ah! Push launch. Warning. Emergency escape vehicle launch sequence has begun. Freedom! Oh, we get a countdown and everything that changes the size of the box. Huh. Weird. Ah! Phew! You're gonna have to stop cutting these escapes so close, Roger Tutu Maker. Well, you must feel pretty good right now. You stop Vohal from carrying out his threat of salesman infestation, ultimately destroying the twisted scientist himself. I wonder if we could have escaped without deactivating the scientists or the the clones. Maybe. We have to play the game again and find out. No. No. Oh, okay. You also managed to save your own skin, and just look at that score. Pretty darn impressive. Ten points shy of perfect. What would have made it perfect? I don't know. Suddenly a warning signal draws your attention to the oxygen meter on the front panel. It reads low and dropping fast. This is just great. You knew it was too good to be true. You have maybe five minutes of air left. Well, Roger Tutu Maker, it was nice knowing you. Now you take the time to view the interior of the pod in more detail. You see a sleep chamber against the one wall. Uh, okay, so it's over here. You turn back the... Uh, it's not going to let me look at this chamber, is it? Nope, but we're going to get in the sleep chamber. I hope it works. You make the split-second decision. Yeah, that, that's how fast that took. That was. To enter the sleep chamber. It seals automatically. Soon you are overcome by a pleasant drowsiness. This is certainly better than suffocating. You begin to drift away into a deep sleep with the satisfaction of having accomplished your task. You've come through in the clutch, and you deserve a nice long rest. Now if someone would just pick you up somewhere along the way. So long, Roger Tutu Maker. Thanks again for saving your people. And, by the way, that got me the extra ten points. Perfect game that I will never play again. Perfect. I, I did score perfect. I know. But For I now. Game so we're in cryogenic sleep and drifting through the stars. And I normally sit through credits, but 
no credits appear to be happening. So I guess we'll see you in the wrap-up video. Yay! I can't even save anymore. 